What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got an e-bike highlight video. This is an e-bike that's coming out soon. It's gonna be shipping at the end of this month and I'm pretty excited to tell you all about it. This is a moped style e-bike that can go 45 miles an hour. It runs on a 60 volt system and it peaks at 2,600 watts. And the best part is it's under $2,000. Now this price isn't gonna last long. This is the pre-order price. They are gonna be increasing the price, according to them. Let's jump right into the website and keep reading more about this e-bike. All right, so this bike is called the Motor Goat V3. They used to have a V2, which was a geared hub motor. If you look right here, it's a direct drive motor. Usually those are larger, but it doesn't have gears in there. What that means is that it has less torque than the geared hub motor version, but it will have a higher top end speed. However, you can usually put more power into a direct drive motor than a geared hub motor. Typically the geared hub motors, they're limited to at most 2000, 2500 watts. From the factory, they'll come at like 1800 watts. Some people put a lot of power into them. You're really kind of playing with fire in terms of how long that motor really will last. No one really knows, depending on how hard you push it. Direct drive motors typically are a little bit more robust and can take a lot more power because they don't have gears to worry about. They don't have the nylon gears to worry about. You just put as much power as it can tolerate as much heat as it can tolerate, that's how much power that motor can tolerate. So this bike has the direct drive motor and it's getting 2,600 watts. Allegedly, that'll give you a top speed of about 45 to 50 miles an hour. Guys, I did wanna make a correction to this video. This is actually the second upload to this video. Some of you guys might've seen the first one. I was made aware of a video review that had just been done hours before I had uploaded the original video. And in this video, you can see that the top speed of this bike is 41 miles an hour. Now the reviewer of this bike, the person who rode the bike during this top speed test is on the heavier side. And it looks like the temperature was colder in the video. It's about 41 degrees. So with an average weight rider, the average American male is 200 pounds. And let's say you had an average temperature of 50 to 70 degrees. I think you could probably expect 40 to 45 miles an hour out of this bike. Maybe not so much the claimed 50 miles an hour. It does look like the controller and the motor and the powertrain of the full suspension version that I'm talking about in this video and the model that he reviewed have the same powertrain, but I could be wrong. Maybe they are different. Maybe for whatever reason, there's more power in the full suspension version. Time will tell. However, I did wanna backtrack on what I said earlier and tell you guys that as of right now, the top speed is probably 40 to 45 miles an hour. And that's thanks to commenter jfly2249. God bless you for being there and showing me this video and that way i can correct myself and i think this is something important everyone should do anytime you're proven wrong with evidence it is totally fine to go back and say okay my prediction was wrong here's the evidence here's the proof this is the accurate information i don't want to give you guys misinformation and give you hopes that this bike goes 50 miles an hour when it potentially doesn't so i did want to just add that into the video it's still a fast bike, 41 miles an hour is very fast for an electric bicycle. So still gonna be an awesome bike, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Let's get back to the video. 60 volts and 2600 watts, that's no joke. That's quite a bit, especially when you increase voltage. That's really what gives you that top speed. Yeah, extra amps will potentially give you a little bit more, but volts really are what give you that top end speed. And I do think this bike will have a decent amount of torque, probably the equivalent of a 52 volt geared hub motor, just because it's getting 2,600 watts. That's gonna be a 50 amp controller. That's pretty cool. So let's keep looking at the bike and the components. Pretty decently sized chain ring right over there. It's got the Motor Goat logo. And by the way, this is the original style. It's got this funky looking seat with triangle shapes up top. 
This is the original style that they had. They do have a new style, let me show you guys, which is a gray color. I think this looks better. This color is actually already sold out for the pre-order, but you can still get the original color. But this gray color looks awesome. These look like either 160 or 180 millimeter rotors. I don't know if they're gonna be upgrading these in the future. Uh, nice looking fenders up top, nice minimalist, sporty looking fenders. I do like how these look. They're obviously not as functional as the big fenders, but if you look here, there's a protector shield right there that acts like a fender. So that's kind of cool. Let's see, we got that single suspension in the back. That's awesome to have dual suspension, love that. Very interesting looking goat cutout in the frame. Nice touch there. And again, the look of this bike looks awesome. The battery sits right up top. So at first glance, you look at this and you're thinking this bike will be very top heavy. Now, when I look at bikes, I look at potential. It's got the direct drive motor. It's running the 60 volt system and it already has, I think, a 20 amp hour battery. Now, if you look here, this is why I'm excited. Look at this cavity. Check that out. That would be perfect for a second battery, a giant second battery. So in theory, you can buy this bike, use this bike, get a cheap battery blender, 50 bucks at most, put a huge second battery in there and you get a 50 mile an hour bike with a ton of range, an insane amount of range. All you need to do to upgrade this bike is get a second battery. And I was browsing through their website and I found something even better. If you go down on their website, they do also sell a frame bag. So this bag fits right into the frame and it's perfect for a second battery. So you can get this bag, get the battery and have a clean looking setup like this Similar to this, this is their version two. If you look right here, see that direct, see that uh, geared hub motor? This is their version two. I don't know if they sell this one anymore. Uh, but you can get this frame, frame bag, and have an awesome long distance bike. This is pretty awesome, guys. And this is such a good deal. Right now, it's like under $2,000. There's a code in the description of this video that's gonna give you 10% off the current price which I think is 2200 and the price ends up being, I want to say, $1,979. Check that link out in the description below if you guys are interested in this bike. Let's get back to the website. So you can order this with pedals or no pedals. Personally, I would probably order it always with pedals. I would probably get the black and gunmetal gray color. I think it looks better. It does also have turn signals, so that is an awesome feature. Let's take a look at the back. The back probably has turn signals right over here at the edges of the rear light. So that's cool. This thing is already ready to be almost like a nice little commuter. If you do want to commute on this, it's got those turn signals. Let's keep looking at the components. And if you guys check this out, it has a key to start the entire thing. And if you look right here, that is a full twist throttle. It's not a, uh, a quarter or half twist throttle. I don't even know what to call it. Some people call it quarter. Some people call it half. So if you like that, there it is. Looks like it's going to come with the typical Shimano style uh, shifter that we all see. And let's go ahead and take a look at the specs of this bike. There we go. So the first shipment is going to be released end of this month. And again, I don't know how long the sale is going to last. So definitely check out the link in the description below if you want to save some money now get this bike early. It does say they are going to be increasing the price as they get closer to the ship date. There it is. So it's a 2000 watt continuous motor. And again, that's something that direct drive motors are great at. They can handle a lot more power. 2600 watt peak. Something else that you could probably do is buy your own controller. And if you run two batteries in parallel, you can, in theory, run even more power into that direct drive motor and definitely give you a lot more torque along with that increased range because you have the second battery. And that's exactly what I did with my wired cruiser. I'm running two batteries in parallel and I was able to comfortably push more amps into the motor while not stressing out the single battery that it came with. So in theory, you could definitely get easy 3,000 to 4,000 watts into that direct drive motor, maybe more. 
Again, it all depends on the motor temperature. Good amount of torque, 110 Newton meters of torque. That's about the same amount as the Aerial Rider Kepler or the earlier generations of the Wired Cruiser at 60 volts. Those peak at, those are 40 amp controllers. These are 50 amp controllers. So I don't know if this is believable or not, but I will tell you it will have a good amount of torque at the low end. It won't feel slow. I can assure you that. The range we're not even gonna look at because that's different for everyone depending on how you ride it. There it is, that 50 amp controller, full twist throttle. Okay, so that bar in the back is the anti-theft lock. So you get a lock in the throttle and the rear wheel. That's fantastic, that's great. Even better if you wanna use this thing for commuting. Seven speeds for the pedal version. Oh, look at that, the display has some navigation options, interesting. Most people probably won't use that. So you get the heavy duty wheels, which is important for higher speed bikes. Thin little spokes, plus weight, plus speed. Not good. If you hit a big pothole, you will bend those spokes. Or worse. Okay, comes with some side mirrors. 103 pounds. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. There you go. Okay, so we get some four piston hydraulic disc brakes. That is very good. And I think it's honestly mandatory for bikes that weigh this much and go this fast. It's got the turn signal, it's got the horn. Awesome, perfect, ready for commuting. Oh, wow, so this is a 25 amp hour battery. That is a big battery. And honestly, for that amount of power, you do want a big battery. 2600 watts being drawn out of a battery is a lot. So you want a lot of battery. And 25 amp hours at 60 volts, that's a pretty good size. And these pictures down here, these are pictures of the older version, the version 2. We're not going to look at those. Some reviews down here. Let's keep looking at the website and see what this company is all about. So it looks like they do have a dealer out in California, California e-bikes. So that is kind of nice. I'm sure you can call them up and get some more information about that. It's always good to have a dealer because they're going to offer more support than some random Chinese company overseas. Looks like they do have a couple of warehouses as well in case you wanna just go and pick up your bike. So they have a warehouse in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Nice, that's great. So for you Canadians that want a fast e-bike that can't get a wired cruiser or freedom shipped up there, here's your option. And then looks like there's also a warehouse down in San Diego. There's their refund policy. I know that's a big deal. Sometimes we make an impulse buy and then later on you realize, eh, I probably should have bought that $2,000 e-bike. Looks like you can return it within 30 days as long as you don't use it in the original box. So you just ship it back to one of their warehouses. You probably will have to pay shipping costs. It is what it is. And they do have a couple other models for e-bikes. They have one that's uh, it's called the Billy Goat version two. It looks like it comes with the same motor in the back. I'm not really a fan of this style of frame because you can't easily add a second battery, unlike the first one. But uh, yeah, if this is your thing, there's an option as well. And then there's the Power Goat version 2. Interesting. So this is pretty much the Billy Goat version 2, but without the suspension. So this is going to be cheaper. This has. This looks like it's a good setup for two people if you do want to do that. Uh, one battery right here, but of course you can add a bigger battery if you want because that cavity is there. There's that direct drive motor right there. Nice logo on the motor itself. Check out these tires. These are nice looking tires. Yeah, it's got the rear pegs in the back. I've had e-bikes with this light before. This is a great light. It comes with a high beam and low beam setting. A lot of e-bikes are coming out with some cool stuff now. And it looks like they do have some social media as well. They're on Facebook. They are releasing a Suron competitor. We'll see how that does. That's kind of cool. Competition is always good. Let's see, it looks like they're also on YouTube. So you guys can check that out later if you'd like. And they got some Instagram posts as well. So yeah, guys, that's it for today. I just wanted to let you guys know about this uh, interesting e-bike that's coming out. This is exactly how the Wired Freedom first started. People started uh, randomly announcing it. Nobody knew who they were, brand new company. And it just looked like a tremendous value. And now it's everywhere. Everyone wants one. Everyone's talking about it. And I think it's a fantastic bike. I do speak with the owner of um, 
goat power bikes uh, pretty frequently. We're, we're seeing if we can work out a deal where I can get the bike to review for you guys so I can bring it through the usual tests and compare the metrics of this bike to other bikes. We'll do the hill climb testing. We'll do the steep hill climb testing. Top speed test, zero to 20. And of course, we're gonna keep everything as accurate as possible. And you'll see all the numbers. You really know exactly what you're getting. But just by looking at the components of this bike, it looks like it's gonna be awesome, especially for under $2,000. Using the link in the description below, Check that out if you want to get this special pre-order price. That's it for today, guys. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments. If I've earned your subscription, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video if you like the video. And if you don't, tell them why you're mad. Tell me in the comments why you don't like this video. I want to hear from you. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Until next time.